Good to see you. I'm way over here on this, on the other side of this big, big pile of shavings down here because I've been planing stuff all, well, most of the day. Draw knife. <laughs> this, this really doesn't look like uh, draw knife shavings, does it? Them long curly things that you get from. No, it came off a, not the Makita curve bottom planer. But the Makita flat bottom planer. I chose to use this one because it's much less expensive. If you don't have one and have to go get one, it does an excellent job if you add the character to the workpiece. If you just take, you know, start at one end and go all the way across with the planer. Just, you're going to get a strip about that wide that's flat. <laughs> and it's going to look like, like a white t-shirt. It's going to have no pizzazz, no character, no nothing. If it's got any finesse to it, if it's got any class to it, you got to add it. Because <laughs> if you just take the pointer and go, Pwah! it's going to look really blah. So, method, method of cutting. You go along first and you get, you work from the, here, like here's the beginning, here's the end. You work from the beginning and you get the bumps off. Maybe if the bumps are really big, you take it to the bandsaw. Clip off the knots, the big old clunky stuff. Clip it off at the bandsaw. Then load it onto the fixture. And you need something to set it on where it doesn't roll something. I like this fixture. It's made specifically for this purpose. It's air oil and it's movement. It's very nice. But you just need something so that it'll hold the logs, like two little v notchy things, so it doesn't roll around. So you have some control over it. And that it doesn't slide down when you push it, that it doesn't slide away. Anyhow, okay, back to the point. Okay, so it's pinned, and then you take where you start on the end, and you get it so it's like it's been spun round on the lathe. Okay, we're going to get to those spun round parts later. We're using up what we've got, and this stuff was pressure treated, so it's really nice. With borate, boron, we're going to talk about that later too. Anyhow, so you clip off and get it so it's smooth. You get the bumps off of it. Then you start at the far end and with little, little strokes. And be careful. <laughs> Watch out for the cord. <laughs> this is, when you do this, it's very easy to chop right through the cord on your pointer. If you notice mine, it's got tape on it in a few spots. <laughs> tape. <laughs> Uh, I didn't cut all the way through it, but I cut down to the essential parts. Okay, anyhow, short strokes, and you work from the end back to back to the beginning, and you make it move slow. You don't go fast. If you go fast, it's going to leave all them little pointer marks, and it'll get chips in it. You don't want that. You just go. Stroke it slowly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then back it up with it. And you get back to the beginning and then you turn it. Get the bumps out. Tum, tum, tum. Playing the knobby things off of it. Get back to the beginning and then work it from the end and come back. Short strokes. And be you can be artsy with it. You get your own. Don't do a pattern. Not a pattern, but your own artwork, your own signature method. It'll be yours. <laughs> and you stay away from having two different people do the parts unless one does spindles and the other one does rails because everybody will have their own flair, their own pizzazz. They will add their own to it. <laughs> Everyone's like a signature in the way they end up working this. But there's a basic, basic methodology to making the workpiece look 
look like it was cut with a draw knife and done excellently well. But I tell you, this cedar, if you were to cut it with a draw knife, the grain is tall, always changing. You got to work from one way, then work from the other way. Otherwise, you got chips and splits all over. So the the planer is much a, a much easier, cleaner, nicer way to go. And for myself, oh, I like cutting everything to length first. Get it all in its finished length, and then plane it down and make it really nice. So. We're getting ready for next, for tomorrow outside. So I think I'm going to go back out there now, get more stuff in line, because tomorrow we're going to use the, the lathe to spin stuff down, because I come to the end of what I've got that's already correct size. So I'm going to have to go make it the right size. Enjoy the journey.